was this sound that presented Taiwan's indigenous people to the world's top stadiums, and it also marked the first time that the voices of the indigenous people on the island were heard all over the world. This song also reminds people to respect the copyrighted music of Taiwan's indigenous people. Sifang's chants, echoing the sounds of nature, spread from his own community to the world. Famous German band Enigma, in their album Return to Innocence, used the voices of Sifang couple singing the traditional song Palafang, which is their merry song for drinking. The album was sold millions of copies around the world and also became the promotional song for the Atlanta Olympics in 1996. However, Sifang was left in the dark and did not get any benefits. This infringement of copyright caused uproar in Taiwan and a lawsuit followed. We are suing the Olympics Committee, EMI, and several other related parties. A case is already underway in court because we fronted legal fee. So if the other party is willing to pay the fund and what it deserves, we will take legal fees out of the payment. We want to make it clear that our company is not making money from the lawsuit. With the help and support of the Taiwanese people, this international lawsuit, which cost about 5 million Taiwan dollars, was settled out of court after three years. Defan said he didn't want to go on with the lawsuit anymore because he was getting old. All he wanted was a conclusion. So we told our American lawyers to negotiate for a settlement. The agreement forbids the closure of the settlement amount. The beauty of Taiwanese indigenous music started gaining a foothold internationally after Zifang's debut. Although the use of Sifang's song led to a legal battle, the issue was eventually settled. At this year's Olympic Games in Beijing, indigenous people from Taiwan were invited to perform their traditional songs and dances before the opening ceremony. It won applause from the tens of thousands of audience at the Bird's Nest Stadium. TITV Week